Hey guys, this is DK Spencer, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a cheap uh, Chinese air compressor. I guess they're Chinese. I don't know. Yang Hang. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> so, <clears throat> first of all, you need your trusty purple Cerakoted Joker-esque crowbar. is you want to take these puppies off. Phase one complete. Then you take the lid off. I love these boxes. They're great to put uh, steel, like the 26 gauge steel plates and shoot them. So anyway, we'll definitely be using that. Good idea, BK. Use your feet. Okay. Good box. We covered that. <laughs> hmm. Stop typing. I know the knife was dull. It's a throwing knife. It's supposed to be. <laughs> it's just the handiest thing to reach. I already took everything out of my pocket. Okay. Now, what I like to use, and you can get these at Lowe's, but this is a garden, a garden kneeling pad. <laughs> so, they make an excellent thing to set these on because these do vibrate. All right, so there's that. Now, that is the cord. You also get some tubing. Well, I can done see it when I need a knife. Oh, wait, here we go. There's no, no style in that. Okay. Sog Pentagon. Style in that. So it comes with two hoses. water pump another little bag of goodies
Okay. <clears throat> so, this is your thermometer. Very important. I try to keep mine under 70. No batteries. This is a bag of extra seals. Whatever the heck that is. I've had a couple of these and I've never noticed that before. So, huh, well. Hmm. Guess I need some batteries. Okay, I'm relatively positive my other ones come with uh, batteries, but anyway, it's a LR44. Luckily, I'm a prepper guy and have all kinds of extra batteries. Or we would have been having a crap video, huh? <laughs> so, there. That's a working. Now, you're going to have a lot of extra parts, and these are extra parts. You shouldn't actually have to use any of the stuff in the bag right now. So don't worry about that. It's the stuff in that bag anyway. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to fish this guy over here. Get a hold of it. Turn that that way. Pop it in that little hole. Stick this in this little hole right there. All right. But you got to see that right there. It just sticks right in there. So now you're set. <laughs> All right. So you've got these two little guys. Now I'm going to let these come with directions. I'm going to let you guys do your directions and everything as far as all this goes. Um, but this goes in here don't get confused by the diagram because the diagram is showing the stuff that's behind this just for repair sake but all the parts are already in there the seals and everything you just need to put the little knobs in so put one on that side and just like it on the other side now this side over here is your moisture drain because you get condensation or whatever and you turn this run the pump a few seconds and it'll bleed out moisture and it'll be nasty whatever so do that when you fill a tank after you fill a tank or whatever i don't do it every time but <clears throat> this one is your bleed valve so make sure both of these are closed before you actually start to pump up anything all right um after you well i'll show you all that anyway all right you got this little plug here this is going to be removed and you're never going to use it again that's where you put your oil your earl all right so you get you some compressor oil all right i just got this at harbor freight but you can get air compressor oil just about anywhere <laughs> That sells air compressors. <laughs> so, now, I don't know how this will go. I've not tried this bottle before. Usually I like to use like a ketchup bottle, uh, but I couldn't find any and I'm kind of in a hurry. You know, like the squeeze ketchup bottles or whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. <clears throat> so, there's a little window right there. And very simply... Yeah, this is going to be a mess. But very simply, you fill it until it's half of the window. 
remember oil is thick so give it a little time And there's the first miss. Okay. How much does it hold? Well, <laughs> it holds until that's halfway full. <laughs> until that little bubble's halfway. So stop every little bit, wipe off your mess, give it a couple seconds. And look at your bubble. Nope. This bottle sucks. That works better. Holding it a little bit above it. <clears throat> okay, it started to come up in the bubble a little bit there. Oh yeah, left-handed, that'll be a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna refill this. And I made a great mess with that. Okay, we're about a quarter of the way up. Ketchup bottles work way better than this. Well, looks like we're there. All right, so then we go wash our hands. There's that bubble we're talking about. As you can see, about in the middle right there. Good times. Okay, so in your pack of goodies, you get this. Now, this replaces the little plug you took out. Just like that. Make sure that's all the way tight. Tight like a tiger. Might as well go ahead and do this. Stick these puppies on here. Okay, you can go ahead and put one end on your pump. Just like that right now. Make sure your little valvey thing's all the way open there if it moves. Some of these move, some of them don't. That one apparently don't, unless you force it. I don't know, but we don't need to because it's in the right place, so yeah. 
And then you get this piece out. Open this up. Throw this away. You don't need it. No, I'm kidding. You open this bag up. Now the O-rings that are in here, well, the big O-ring, that's what goes right there. Actually, this one's already got one in it. So we don't have to use one yet. But that's uh, obviously a filter for oil and water. So since you know it's in there, we can put this bag on. Okay. And you're going to take you some Teflon tape. But you can also get it any lows or whatever. And you're going to put you about three or four runs around there. Or five, I don't know, whatever. Just do it till it feels right. Okay. Like that right there. And then this is going to screw into this top hole here. Now, it will behoove you to <laughs> manipulate this around like this. Look, it almost does it itself if you do it right. Then you're going to go over your handy dandy tool chest. whatever you people call them. I guess I could do it easier from here, but I'm trying not to block the camera. Snug that on in there real good. Now, open both of those for this part of the adventure. And hold that thought. I use one of those, and now that I've looked at the instructions, I see that that's actually what they recommend you do. use distilled water do i always no but i've <laughs> I learned my lesson not doing it so now i do now here's a tip legionnaire's disease comes from water sitting around and growing bacteria so you don't want to leave this water indefinitely change it like <laughs> at least every week but uh, don't just keep refilling it. Change it. Yay. Okay. You're very simply going to get all this crap untangled. Let's get this here. These has little suction cuppies. You gotta stick it down there. We're going to plug that in in a second. You want to make sure that your entire pump is submerged and then a little bit extra. Now, what I like to do Pour gas in it. No, don't do that. What I like to do is zip tie this one somewhere about right now. Depending on how the how strong the pump is or whatever, you may have to adjust. I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose, 
All right. Now we're going to plug this baby up and see what happens. Oh, looky there, looky there. The magical, less lethal water fountain. Okay, never, ever, 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 ever run this thing without that running. Uh, it will get hot fast. Now, I was telling my boy Kevin, who's the reason I'm doing this video, he just got one of these and I'm trying to kind of rush through so he knows how to use it. But very important, these tubes right here, even doing this, these tubes get hot. I have burnt the dickens out of myself on these tubes. They get hot, okay? Real hot, real fast. Uh, so, there we go with that. I've got wires and stuff everywhere for the lighting. I'm not normally this, I don't normally have this much crap in the way. But uh, anyway, there's that. Now, I see that this one does not have the adjustable gauge like my other one. My other one has the little thing you can adjust. This one apparently you just have to watch. That was probably why it was cheaper. For all other intents and purposes, it looks the same. Do I care that it's not adjustable? No, because I watch it anyway, because these things are fast. Someone was commenting about uh, the, these things being cheap uh, Chinese pumps or whatever, da da da. Andy's Air Guns did a review on all the different pumps, and for the best I could tell, he liked these the best, and I just trust Andy. I had one before I ever watched that, but it made me happy to see it. So anyway, what we're going to do first is both of these are open. We're going to turn it on and see if it does anything. It do. Now we're going to close this one. Leave that one open. This is your pressure release. It's easy to remember because it's on the side of your hose. That is to make sure there was no moisture in there and blow it out. Now we're going to tighten that one down. Now. Okay. Everything's tightened down. Waters are running. Well, let's get a tank. Here's one of the 1100 PSI tanks from Home Defense 24. As you can see, it's pretty much empty. All right. So this is a 3000 PSI tank. Remember, if it's aluminum, it's 3000. If it's carbon fiber, it's 4500. But a lot of tanks, even these, that gauge goes all the way up to five. Whoops, sorry. That gauge goes all the way up to five. You only fill it up to three. Aluminum tank, 3,000 PSI, okay? 3,000 PSIs, all right? You, all right, pull that back, stick it on there, push it forward, make sure it's connected good, make sure everything's closed. PSIs. Temperature never got over 43. And I did look in the book, if I didn't say this, uh, it says never to get it above 75. I think I said 70. Uh, but you're supposed to keep it, you know, under 70. But 75 is like, you know, it's going to probably fail on you if you hit 75, I think. Um, so anyway. Now, one thing about it, if you cut this thing off and you want to restart it, you do have to bleed this off 
and then restart it. It will not have enough power to, to restart when it's got this much pressure behind it. I didn't get it quite to 3,000, but, you know, you see. All right, <clears throat> watch both gauges, because sometimes you'll get a tank that's really, like, the gauge is really off. Watch both tanks, and watch your temperature gauge just in case, whatever. If it gets up to close to 70, cut it off. All right, once you've done this, all right, <laughs> this is really important. Let all that pressure out. You can't really do it anyway, but you wouldn't want to if you could. So once all that pressure's out, then you just pull that, release it, and go pop that baby in your VKS or your HDB with the big, you know, adapter or your patrol carbine or whatever the heck you know it is that you like to play with. And rinse and repeat. All right. So uh yeah <laughs> all right so how often do you change the oil the first time you change it after 50 hours i'm reading the manual the second time you change it after 100 hours or every year all right so you don't have to change these very often people that worry about the oil and these and want to use the oilless trust me don't do that get one of these these are way better way faster last longer you want the water cooled oil yeah all that all right your air filter right that's in here all right every 100 hours or if it starts spitting out water or every year uh and if it's used in a dusty environment you should do it every 50 hours again according to ye old book all right so hopefully that covers it this will pump up to a 4500 tank if you're doing a big tank like a big jump tank or something uh you definitely do not want to try to do it all at once watch you know you can even even water cooling it you can get your temperature up too high um with something big uh i'll do like i'll feel it like so far you know once it starts creeping up a little bit i cut it off bleed it off let it rest for a good bit and then you know hit it with some more whatever now i'm talking like the big like well, what? like 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 that guy like i'm proud like if i'm feeling this guy from empty it's it's gonna be in like several several stages uh because you can burn a pump up quick with something that size i need to play with that thing more anyway that's my shoe and you know whatever all right guys this is dk spencer so uh like subscribe and uh enjoy your pumps <laughs> all right bye